Ladies and gentlemen, we finished season 13, but we had skipped over Champion of Champions 2. For those of you that don't know, every five seasons of Taskmaster, there is a Champion of Champions episode where the winners compete to determine who is the best of the best. Let's just get started. It's Ed Gamble. It's Richard Herring. It's Carrie Godleman. It's two other people that I know, and I'm gonna remember when I see their faces, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch some Taskmaster. Hello. Whoa! Oh, they they cucked me on the intro. Oh! Oh my God! Oh, I'm blue balled. It's <laughs> that's the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Help me! You must do five different heroic things for five seconds. You have twenty minutes. Your time starts now. Oh! Ah, oh, here we go. Whoa! That's a big jump for roller skates. Taskmaster, champion of champions! Oh no, Ed in the first seat, you know that's cursed. Well, the category, after some pretty intense workshopping, is the thing that makes everyone go, wow, that really is the greatest thing. <laughs> oh. Lisa Tarbuck, what thing have you brought in? Um, I've bought the thing that makes everybody else go wow at my house. Here it is. Margarita machine. Ooh. Oh. Imagine having oh, I... David Bowie to yourself. I was wowing at Johnny Vaughan. <laughs> <laughs> right. Kerry. The thing that makes everyone say wow. Right, I wrote a play. There we go. Straight I'm a playwright. This is oh. the script here. It's oh. called The Greatest Thing. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Bosch. Well played. Okay. It's The Greatest Thing. Uh, the play is called The Greatest Thing. That makes you say wow. Your line. Wow. Wow, that is... The g g g g g g g g g Spit it out, Alex. Great! Yes! Is it? <laughs> what do you think? Wow! <laughs> this is a great thing to bring in. Wow. Watching the... I'm saying wow. Watching the Champion of Champions after watching the regular ones is like watching regular Survivor and then watching the ones where they bring everyone back and they know how to play. It's just a different ball game. What have you brought us? Well, it's up there. It's a heart in a jar. Yeah, heart in a jar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ed likes it. Last place. <laughs> Ed, what have you brought in? So I wanted to make my trophy better than everyone else's, um, so I sent it to space. <laughs> That's goaded! It's like the YouTuber who sent his bread to space, but cooler. I mean, he, he actually, this is not green screen. This is real. That's insane. Oh, no. Could you imagine if you died because a Greg fell on your head? That's a wow. That's wow. easy wow. Can you beat that? Well, I think in a way I can. I think the greatest thing <laughs> in the world is the ancient city of Pompeii. It's a beautiful history. You can step back in time. He bought Pompeii. I'm going to pay for whoever wins. Four-star hotel. That might actually be the best gift because it's it's good. Wow, that's like a good that's a good prize. I mean, that is remarkable. Yeah. Well, it's straightforward to give Lou one point. <laughs> Bang. That's, that's that. I'm going to give Carrie, and I do feel a bit mean because it was very clever. I'm going to give her two points because I can't. Two? It was so good. Everything else was just better. That's crazy. For reason, David Bowie's a legend. I'm going to give him three points. Four points to Richard Herring. Okay. My head in space takes the big five. There it is. Five points to Ed All right. Well, I know who I'm picking, baby. <laughs> the GOAT. Right, to start, here's how these five people can impress you with a... Great. Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Look. I'm sorry. Let me move my camera so you can see Alex's face. <laughs> oh no. Do you think you've changed? I don't think you can help but be changed by an experience like this. What the hell am I looking at? It looks so r good and real. Feed yourself a grape. In the most elaborate way. You have one hour, your time starts now. Oh, Rube Goldberg Easy. machine. Do you think I can feed it up if I feed it up through my bottom and suck it up and then an hour can get it out of my mouth with that? Be what? I forgot that we're dealing with goats. I'm so used to watching Taskmaster and they're all kind of lame. Not lame, but like they're, they think small. We're only here with big thinkers. They're just saying crazy shit and hoping that they find the right thing. And that's how you win Taskmaster. Well, we're going to start with the best person from series six, Lisa Tarbuck. <laughs> I'd like a good clean pace off you, sailor. Grapes on his way. Just tell me to stop if you want anything. Oh no, I just I'm just enjoying it all. It's just, hi. 
Here it comes. Oh, here it is! <laughs> Put a grape on a pulley system, powered by a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lou Sanders raising the bar. Oh. Oh, Goldface. A natural. A natural. So smooth. It's romantic, it's seductive, <laughs> it's elaborate. Mm -hmm. Well, it, was the feeding elaborate? Yeah. 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 Was that? It's a fucking angel. <laughs> 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 Who feed you it? It's time for the winner of BAFTA award winning series Nine. Ed Gamble. Oh, no. It's a classic case of murder by grape. <laughs> Oh, this oh, better not grape, awaken grape, anything grape. in me. Grape, grape, grape. What have you found? <laughs> no! <laughs> Winner's mentality, baby. Your dog seems quite athletic. <laughs> That's right, it's Richard Herring. Richard. <laughs> From our 400 acre vineyard task mustache. We crush it beneath the foot of only the most. Oi, 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 oi. A touch of sugar, spring water, fermenting for 30 long minutes. Why? Pinot Gregio. From the earth to your mouth via our feet. Alex. <laughs> From the earth to your mouth. <laughs> Good at it. Dave's Stinky Bare Feet Wine. I think that's the best thing you've ever done in your life. Who's <laughs> <laughs> next? It's Series 7's Kerry Godleman. <laughs> All right, Bosh. Grape. Yes, Kerry. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Good angle. We're, we're to believe that James A. Custer rolled it off his table and it attached itself to a balloon. <laughs> it had a journey, and, had a journey. and I don't remember that detail. There isn't a backstory like what you've got with the dog. I made mine up. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> James is my grape gimp. And <laughs> we've all got one, ladies and gentlemen. Taking home five points, and I don't think anyone's going to argue with me, it's Richard Herring. Hey. Oh, wow, the wine. Four Harry Godley, Three points to Lisa Tarbuck. Okay. I'm awarding these two two points each. Two Let points each. Wow, bad bread. The rich is in the lead with nine points. Wow. Whatever did they do next? Oh, no. I can't remember if you're good at art or not. I am really, really bad at art. That's it. <laughs> I forgot about the goatee. Hi, Lisa, you look. Cut holes in and create a scene on this board. When you and Alex stick parts of your body through the holes, it looks wonderful. Most wonderful scene wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Okay, it's like a classic to tourist my attraction. Head. Okay, cowboy. P -p Patrick Starr. You look good there. It's really noble. Trousers are coming down. Push it in more. Push it right in. I want the do you, whole. Do you mean push it out? Push the cheek into the hole. Thank you, Lisa. Pleasure. Thanks. <laughs> wow, hubba hubba. Here is Kerry's picture. <laughs> wow, Alex Butt. It's a wonderful world. Yeah, I see it's trees of green. Trees now. of green, yeah. babies. It's just an apocalyptic nightmare. Today. <laughs> I think it's actually really Compare good. Richard Herring's effort. Here we go. Here we this go. Is wonderful. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's an octopus. It's a beautiful octopus squirting ink over the other contestants <laughs> while I have the champion of champions trophy over there. Yeah. <laughs> you look like something from the... It's not oh, bad once you look at it. it. Where's the wonderful bit? Kerry, come on, mate. Come on, mate. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't. Looking right. for wonderful. Right. Do you see it in Lou's picture? OK. <laughs> oh, Lou. Why is everyone laughing? <laughs> I do think, for the first time, there is an element of wonder in this picture. There, is, there fucking is, Kerry. You... <laughs> <laughs> Shall we have a look at Ed Gamble? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Jesus Christ. You run out of room, but it says evil butcher. What I will say is, it makes sense. <laughs> Everyone loves killing Alex. Caesar, you can save this. <laughs> I hope so. Have a look at this. Oh, it's a beautiful painting. It's the Alpine Darling. That's art. <laughs> this is the title, the Alpine Darling. 
Don't waste our breath arguing over no, this. I can no, give no. you the points now. I'm one. Yep. Uh, Kerry, two. Uh, Lisa, five. Four. I'm obviously four. <laughs> four, three. I mean, that is, I promise you exactly. What? How did Bosch get. <laughs> no. Five. Lisa there it is. Wow, I, I think Kerry actually got fucked on that one. It's frustrating and it's canard, which is duck in French. Oh. Get this duck into that pond. There's a pond in the garden. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I hadn't even seen that. Look at that. That is off the scale. <laughs> they love it. She looks like Lenin. <laughs> he Get does look like the Lenin. Duck. The duck must be launched from behind this rope. You must stay behind this rope during its journey. You may not move the rope or the pond. Fastest wind. Ah, uh, see, pond. when you're playing against pros, Fast. you have to be clear that you can't move some of the things. It's Ed Gamble's attempt. Do you think I can build a river? Think I can sail the duck all the way down? Beautiful thought. Beautiful thought. Oh my God, he's on the Sorry. Right, I'm going to send the duck down just to see what happens. Okay. A great aqueduct. He stopped. We're going to do this. Is he still moving forward, Alex? Backwards now. Uh. <laughs> oh no, he's taking half hour, so man. long. <laughs> Eventually, you would just throw it and bink it. The only way I get out of this with any dignity is if I die right now. <laughs> is he get this duck into that pond. What duck? What duck? <laughs> what duck? Oh no. What duck? He's claiming to have destroyed, destroyed any evidence the duck, of the duck. Buried it so it can't haunt, haunt me. Zed, I know a dog that can find that. <laughs> <laughs> All fun went out after the first hour. It was... Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Greg was actually surprised. It was 97 minutes of utterly wasted time. Oh, nine... oh brutal. you got to finish it out, King. Next up, it's two people that share the same hairdresser. It's Richard and Lou. Alex, can you go and put that in the pond? No. <laughs> you gotta try. I'm glad that he says no, because in the early days, that was like the big brain Omega scam, uh, and him saying no is good. That'll get it that far. Richard, what the fuck? Key. I found a key. Key it's on the man to the thing. caravan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like that, saying. around and back. Perfect. Ah, rat remote okay, control. Okay, I've got a rat remote control. I can hear something. I've got a rat. Oh, he found it so quick. Let's see if it will stay on. Oh, beautiful. Go forward, you stupid rat. <laughs> he doesn't... He can't control the rat. <laughs> nice. Ducks in. We knew Lou was a gamer. What are you doing? What are you actually doing? Okay. <laughs> I stopped the clock. You started tossing the ducks and then you worked out a pulley system. Mm. The timings were impressive. I mean, Lou completed it in 15 minutes and 45 oh, seconds. Richard managed it in 24 minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, nice. That's what for the moment. It's LK today, Lisa and Kerry. I'm never going to get it in. No, not Are like that. Are you able to steer it? Maybe. I've never sat in it before. And we attach the duck behind you like a tail. <laughs> yeah, that's an issue, isn't it? So I'm going to put it in. In? In the bobbin. You, there's no chance. <gasps> that was really close. That was really close. Anyone got a motorbike? I do have a car. Oh. I'm ready. Well done. I love that. I'm going to manifest it in. Manifest it in, Carrie. Oh, that's going in. That's the line. My instinct is Tarbuck struck gold again, but I could be wrong. Well, no, so far, wrong. Lou, of course, 15 minutes 45. Uh, Lisa, 23.10. Oh, okay. oh, the bobbin takes it. The bobbin does take silver medal, 16 minutes oh. 40. So, uh, oh, Lou so won. Lou Relatively close. Free to make your way to the stage for the final, final task. It's very exciting, Greg. There's three people on joint second place. Any one of the five could still win. Well, you better get someone to read the task out. Aren't so, you? Ed has to, to win and out. Richard Hello. has to get last? Is that, is that Ed's only win? Oh, no. Pack either five bricks or five balloons in your bag. One at a time, you must then walk across the stage and place your bag on the circle 
near the taskmaster who will guess whether you were packing bricks or balloons. I love this one. You put balloons, Most you pretend it's heavy. Wins. You it's actually bricks. Seconds. It's all, uh, everything comes down to carrot in a box. I'm going to tell you that. I don't like being the one that reveals it to you. Everything is carrot in a box. It either is or it isn't. <laughs> the last person standing wins five points. Wow. Oh, wait. So the winner of this game wins this show? That's crazy. You must zip up your case within the hundred seconds. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Five against carrying bricks. <laughs> It still counts as a balloon, popped or not. Uh, yeah, but if you pack bricks and pretend the they're heavy, you can think you're double bluffing. That's why it's like carrot and a box. Are you ready, Greg? You're either honest, bluffing, double bluffing, triple bluffing, quadruple bluffing, but all of them are binary answers, right? I am. Balloon. <laughs> He's singing balloon, I think. Bridge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's a clever man. <laughs> oh, I'm all packed for Pompeii, baby. <laughs> Ed Gamble is packing balloons. Just want to let you know that I'll be paying for my own ticket. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, oh, here comes the acting. Here. <gasps> Fuck it, <I'll> <laughs> Is it the bad acting on purpose a bluff or a double bluff? And you can't know. You can't know. <laughs> Balloons. No, my gut says bricks. I take my fucking face off. <laughs> oh. oh, it's an interesting old lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, get on it. The woman's got bricks in that bag. Lisa, please. Open Have your I? She has bricks. Greg's has insane. Bricks. Wait, Lou could win! Yep. Lou is on her way. Here she comes. It's the poise. Yes, the yes. speed. Lovely. For the first time, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she wins now. Guess again. <laughs> oh, give him a chance to change. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another contestant, quite weird. Oh, the mouth. The ma All I'm looking at is his mouth. Lovely technique. I'm gonna say the man's got bricks in there. I think yeah, so too. You shouldn't have given up so quickly, mate, because. Uh... Oh, he's a gamer! He's going to Pompeii! Wow! Tell us the final scores. <laughs> well, Ed came last. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Uh -oh. Lou and Kerry, joint third with 12 points. Nice, nice. 14 points, a clear second. But the winner accumulated a huge 17 points. What a beast. Richard Herring is the new champion of champions! I wouldn't want that in my house. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Taskmaster Champion of Champions 2 with me.